do kind of start off with what we're going to be doing on this video. This is going to be us installing the washer dryer combo. We already removed the wall. We didn't video that because it was way more of a pain than we thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, so basically they had a mini fridge in here. So this original layout, the couch booth area went all the way to the bulkhead here. And so they actually put a mini fridge to make a great opportunity for us um, to put this washer dryer combo. So we're going to the table was previously fixed, if anyone noticed before, I think our tour video I mentioned, we're gonna do something different with it. We're gonna make that come out, just to have more room up here. Um, so we took all the hard mounting out. Later we're gonna end up making, uh, uh, we're just gonna pull out poles basically, so this can turn into a bed as well. Um, but anyways, we, from that, we're gonna take the, they had like this half bulkhead section we just really hated. We took all that out and it left us this big spot right here that the washer dryer combo is actually gonna fit in here. It's rough cut and it looks rough because I cut it with a sawzall, it is rough. So for this weekend, we're gonna get it all hooked up, wired, water, everything installed. Get it in this little area where you can see the teak stuff. Yeah, I'll show you. Cool. So, so put all of that out. Yeah, so it, we weren't, we didn't realize that this was uh, a cut part of the cushion. So it sucks that the floor isn't finished. So that's what's kind of sparked this location. We looked at other spots and we're like, hey, since the, the beautiful wood floor stops and goes to this plywood section, that's where the washer dryer is gonna go. So we're gonna end up putting it here and it's gonna stop right at that that line between the, the nice floor and old. I can get rid of this too. Um, and then we're gonna end up building a cabinet and it's gonna sit right here. So we just kind of want to do a quick run through. Um, this video is gonna be uh, getting installed uh, power, water hot and cold and then our drain and we actually went with a ventless combo and what we'll do is we'll put a link down below of uh the wash dryer we went with and then also we'll, we'll put down all the fittings hose everything we did just if someone's like really like sometimes you, it's it's easy to buy a wash dryer but you don't know like what all was needed to put it in so we'll, we'll put it all down below if anyone is following along for an instructional purpose but yeah so we're gonna hook up we want the ventless one it's an option we can go vent or ventless I don't want to punch a big vent hole in if I don't have to. We're going to see how that works. I have no first-hand experience with a ventless washer dryer. Yeah, the um, only thing that they we saw was that it dries slower, which, yeah. I mean, they dry slower anyways. Right, so. we're just happy to have a washer dryer, honestly. Yeah, and I'm this is, we're still going to probably use laundry mats and stuff, but this is just for day-to-day -day stuff to cut down. Having three kids that spill everything. Uh, we just, fluids all the time. So this is just for day-to-day -day. So We're going to install this. We may later do a video of how well it actually works, because there's one thing is like, plan versus actual like what, what it really is so we'll probably this is more of an installation and then later on we'll probably do it after we ran it through a few times uh we'll kind of do a review on it too but yeah so that's what we're up to today we're just going to do a full install and show you what it takes to put one of these in yeah. so I got it kind of on my knees, so there right. you go. Hey. I got you gotta get that rope out from underneath yeah, it. So. Oh shit. Hey, okay. Uh, center it, level it up. Pull that rope back to the center. There you go. Okay. Oh, yeah. I got I can take the weight. You're you're on it now. Oh, you got it. Yeah, don't, don't. Yeah, get your leg out of the way. Wasn't sure what happened there. Good job. You down? Yeah, he's down. Sail drive. Yeah. Oh, it's sail drive. Yeah, you got sail drive. That's cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll take you by it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, I ordered it. It's beautiful. Keep unwrapping, kids. Keep unwrapping. Look at her. She's a long one. That's awesome. You gonna learn how to use it, honey, and keep up those sneaky boys? Yeah. How do you? So anyways, what I'm looking at now is we are lucky enough to on this boat that this raised section is where all of our tanks and systems really are. So down here is our hot water heater, uh, obviously hot, hot water hose, uh, cold water hose, and then um, our sump pump for the drain. We're gonna be hooking that, that into our uh, tub drain. So we're gonna basically the draining for this is gonna go with the shower water. Um, so everything's right in here. So I'm just looking at fittings. I'm gonna basically tee into all my systems is the plan. So I just cut a chunk of hot water line because um, I need to replace the stuff because it's old anyways. I'm gonna get new water line and then I'm just gonna tee into everything, um, basically all my systems, hopefully, and it should work just fine. And then we actually have an outlet behind the washer dryer, um, but it's on our string of outlets on the breaker. So I don't know, we're gonna plug it in for now and take the path least resistance and see if it pops breakers. And if it does, then we'll run a dedicated breaker just to this. But so for today, so far, we're gonna go run and grab some stuff um, and then start just basically the plan is just to tee everything into our systems right down here. And then it's got a little couple feet run to the washer and dryer. And you can kind of see the washer or the systems down in here. There's still some pressure in the lines of place. There's where it's going. So what I'm going to do first, we got the washer dryer sitting in here in place. It's a pretty snug uh, fit, which is fine, um, but it's definitely got wrestled in here. So the majority of this video is probably going to be done with it propped like this because uh, getting it past the trim was, was, was a pain. So we got it kind of propped up. Uh, so I'm going to do most of this work in here. So it'll be a little tight building. So just like any washer dryer, you're going to have a hot and cold um, hot and cold water hose. Uh, and this one came with both of them. And one had a 90 in it and they both had these hose fitting basically ends. One goes to your washer dryer. One generally goes to your house valve, which we don't have here. Cause this is actually an R RV washer dryer. did was instead of trying to find a fitting, a, a threaded fitting to barb because it would just kind of be redundant. I ended up cutting it off and just did a barb to barb. I just did a brass half inch barb to barb. Um, so that way, I mean, that's, that's up to whoever, if you're doing it, basically you can find, you might be able to find a three, I think these are three quarter, I don't remember what they were, three quarter to barb, um, path least resistance. And then also, it may seem silly, but I actually will wrap my hose clamps in electrical tape, just kind of cover them up a little bit, keep moisture and shit off of them. Again, teach their own, just kind of showing some of the stuff I do. And so we'll do this to both sides. I'll run one into, tee it into my hot water heater. And then one just gonna go in right into my faucet line. Hmm. And then it's all just kind of, I mean, it's not sealed against water, but it's a little resistant against, I mean, if shit's dripping on it and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna hook one up. I'm gonna run it underneath the floor to here and then I'll tee that in. I'll start with the cold and then I'll go to the hot water. So. All right guys, so we're gonna hook up the drain pipe now. We decided to, I'm gonna run a, a stainless through hole. And what we're gonna do here, I'll take a quick walk through. We're gonna have Steph punch the hole in this one. She's a little smaller, so we'll have her climb in. So we got our drain pipe here. We're gonna actually run it through into our bathtub in here. So we're gonna run it into here, and then we've got a sump on this that drags out. So we'll end up just draining into the bathtub and then pumping it out. So that way we don't have to monitor it. We weren't sure how we're gonna hook it up and everything, but um, yeah. All right, so we're gonna have our 
drill a hole real quick. I would not fit in that freaking tub. So just wanted to do a little recap of what we got done so far. Um, we got it pulled forward so it's a little messy and then I'm gonna kind of clean shit up and then I'm gonna put it back in place and then we're gonna finish teeing our water lines into our system. But as far as back here, we're basically done. Um, so we talked about, we got cold water, hot water. This is marked in red, blue, obviously hot cold. So we got our lines running down below the deck. Um, those will be teed into our water system or hot and cold. And then we've got our power wire here. You can see it's going to go to this plug in down here. And then we got our drain pipe ran up and around, and then it's going to go through. And we did a th that through hole we were talking about in the bulkhead. So it'll come through just like that into the tub. So now when we drain, the drain cycle goes, it'll just drain right in the tub. And then um, we just pump it out when we're ready, when it's all done, basically. So. They're pretty easy to install. Um, again, where this is the vent, this is a vent ventless option combo. We're gonna go ventless. If we ever do want to go to a vented, you take this cover off, run your tube out. We just don't want to cut any holes in our hall. So we're gonna get this thing placed back in, and then we're gonna show you how we teed into our water system. So we put Steph in the hole. Again, she fits in small places. So, yeah. so first, what are you doing today? The cold water. This is the cold water running to the washer dryer and it's going to be going into this tea that we already put in here and I'm just going to be attaching already have this on here so Get out of my mouth. You put your mouth? There we go. I put this. I shut the hatch on you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you didn't even notice? No. You're I'm all not. tucked in there. Oh, and he told me this, but you want to make sure that you put this on to where it's positioned, or if you have to get at it later, that um, it's easy to get at. Have you paint the bill while you're down there? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now for the hot water side. Rotate. <laughs> huh? I don't know what is worse, having your large or this large. <laughs> <laughs> and we already put this together, but we had to do uh, special fittings because the Hot water is bigger than the, or the, 
They're both hot water, but the new hose that we did is smaller than the water. hose that's currently there. Is it comfy in there? Ugh, no. <laughs> My legs are burning. Yeah. <laughs> I did like try to find a spot of something to sit on. I can't imagine. Ta da! It hurt. <laughs> Alright, so the screen's on. We haven't read the directions, and also we don't know how to work this thing, so we'll see if it actually works. Do wash only, maybe? Yeah, let's do. Sure. Looks nice. <laughs> so, usually there's like a. I want to do like a quick. Yeah, there's usually a quick one. Drain only. Quiet. Rinse and spin, maybe? Yeah. Wash only. Yeah, 13 minutes. That's not long. Oh, wait. What? Oh, I can turn the okay. Alright, so we're going to run a rinse and spin cycle just to see if it works. Uh, I forgot to turn. We went to start it and I forgot to turn um, my, water my main water on. So now it's on. So let's try this again. See if she works. And as we do this, I'm going to check for all my fittings for leaks. Make sure I don't have any water going where it should be. If the water sounds. Come on, thank you. So anyone out there keeping score, Steph's fittings didn't leak, mine did. <laughs> so the one thing about this machine with the reviews, and as everyone said, it was extremely quiet and super smooth. Oh, that's exactly what I want to see. Well, we're going to try to vacuum the tub out, but that's our drain. So it'll fill this tub up with soapy nasty water and then we're going to send that the gray water and then we can just rinse it out when we're done every time we run alone yeah relatively pretty quiet super smooth happy so far you like the washer okay so it is in i'm super super excited um we love it. I love it. We were going to have it enclosed, but I think it looks really, really good the way it is. So we're just going to leave it like that. We still have some trimming to do, but I mean, it's not a big deal <laughs> just to really hold it in place, honestly. And, but uh, yeah, we're really, really excited. So, and if um, anybody has any questions about how to do this, I know that uh, not a lot of people do this on their boats, and so um, there's just not a lot of information out there. So if you have any questions, just feel free to leave a comment down below.